Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I'm so sorry I've been MIA. I just had a lot of different things going on, but I still wanted to share a few of the things that I've been up to. So it's a bunch of random clips to document what's been going on the last little month or so. So I hope you enjoy. This is the entry in my house right now. Most of this is for a campaign, um, but still. I got an embarrassing number of deliveries yesterday. Most of it, um, it's for a collaboration I have coming up, so I don't feel too bad because I had to get it for that. But let me go through all of this with you. So originally I just ordered one of these stockings because I was going to hang it in my office, but I thought it'd be super cute to get two of them. They looked really nice quality on videos that I saw. They are from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collection. They're $14.99 each. Super soft, and then the inside is lined. So I got two of those. I got a lot of these little faux greeneries. I don't know if you remember last year, maybe you weren't here. I hung them upside down with a little bit of ribbon above a lot of my artwork um, off of sconces, and it looked super cute, and I thought I may as well get something I can reuse each year. Um, the real stuff just kind of sheds. So I got those. I also got them in a bigger size, so I'll show you that in a little bit. I got four sets of these. Maybe you can't see unless I undo them, but they're napkin rings. So it's greenery that is in a ring shape. So I got 16. I thought those would be really nice. On the theme of tables, I got these tablecloth um with the little tassels from the Studio McGee collection. Haven't unwrapped them clearly. So I didn't realize there were two sizes, so I just quickly added to cart and got two of the smaller size because we extend our table at Christmas and I just thought more useful. But then when I did another order um, for my mother-in-law, she wanted the bigger size, which I think is 120. So I only got one for her, but I guess we could combine them all. I got this to hang in the window of my office. Thought it was pretty cute. There's this cute blanket from the Hearth and Hand collection and I got this pillow to go with it. Those are gonna go in my office as well. These are tea towels. They're, I think, flower sack tea towels and they've got the recipe for sugar cookies. I thought it was just super, super cute. Uh, $3.99 each. I thought that they would make nice little stocking stuffers or gifts. Um, so that is nice. I got three of those. Maybe I should have got more. Kitten not included. These are so cute. Little mugs that they stack inside each other. So they say comfy cozy. Green and red. Or is it black? I think it's green. Yeah, it's showing on camera a bit better. Then I got this little pre-lit tree to plug in. I might put it in a different pot eventually. But I thought that would be cute somewhere. I thought this was nice as well. It came in the glass vase. It's actually attached. How much was this? $12.99. I like the little berries on it because a lot of the other greenery I got didn't have the berries. These are the bigger stems I was talking about. They had three different sizes. This is the medium size and it's still pretty substantial. Um, last year I had some of the greenery kind of arranged like that over top of my rain hood. So I was thinking I would use this this year. This wreath situation hold on let me see if i can get it i think this might be sold out maybe it's back in stock i don't know but it is a trio of wreaths if i can get them to cooperate let's see if i can show you a bit better no i cannot disaster you get the idea they hang like that um i don't know where i'm gonna put them i just thought they were cute from the Studio McGee collection. This is not holiday at all, but I had been eyeing it for a little while. It is the Studio McGee wicker or rattan, which is it? Rattan 
vase and I've seen these in design not this specific one but I guess vintage ones and I thought yep I need that so I've got that and then two of these tree cuffs once for my mother-in-law but I just thought they were really nice classic style something I'd have forever so really really happy with that I did think it was a little bit lighter online than it actually came but I still like it and it's got these cute little handles so happy with my whole haul on the same day as all of that arrived this new rug arrived I don't know if it's going to go in the kitchen it might go in the entry but I just wanted to show you this is from the Angela Rose Laloy collection it is sage color there's also specks of brownie I guess rusty colors really nice I put it beside my rosemary sage rug and I found this one pulled a little more bluey than that one that one pulls a little gray but I really really like this so I look forward to hopefully putting this in my entry I just remembered this as I was filming for Instagram some of this greenery smells funky um I think it's these the rings yeah it's the rings I don't know what it is about them they are probably made out of the same stuff as this which doesn't smell so I'm gonna soak these I guess they're plastic so it should be fine but isn't that strange um I wonder why that is but anyways since it's turned into like a Christmas holiday decor video. I got this um, from Ikea. It was $16.99, I want to say. It had all of its branches pushed up, but I spread them out. I'm thinking of putting it in my outside pot um, instead of buying a real one because those tend to be pretty expensive. I think I showed you this from Amazon. I maybe show you this as well. They are brass letters that spell out Merry Christmas. I found them on Amazon. Um, McGee and Co. sells them for much more, so I will also link those. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I got. I just got out some more decorations. And I had this little stack upstairs, and last night I kind of threw it all together, and I thought it looked so cute. I would never leave it like that, but I thought it was just a nice little collection. And it was so pretty, so I thought I would give it a little moment. Don't mind a little bit of the mess going on here, but I shot a campaign with some decorations and this little one is benefiting from the cozy office armchair situation. She climbed in here and had a big snooze. Hey. A fun little late night DIY. So this is the hearth in hand pre-lit tree and it's not really attached to its pot. So I was thinking, what could I put this in? And then I remember this cute salt glazed crock I got from that um, Allura trip we did in the summer. So I'm going to try and cut this styrofoam off because you can see that the weight on the bottom is really what's attached and then put it in and I guarantee it's gonna be super cute. Look how cute this turned out, I'm obsessed. Um, so I used an X-Acto knife to cut the bottom styrofoam and then the scissors to cut the cardboard on the top. I'm gonna throw all of that out. I'm gonna keep the pot it came in, but honestly, I don't think we can return from this. Um, also, so cute. Um, that's like what the bottom looks like. So, obsessed. Now I gotta find a spot for it, but I'm pretty sure I have an idea in mind. Made a little impromptu trip slash fitness workout this morning to Canadian Tire to check out the Jillian Harris canvas collection. I picked up this little ornament just because I want to support Jill. I didn't really need anything, but I thought it was pretty cute. And then this little tiny mouse because I thought it was so sweet. But what I'm going to work on now, I think, is putting up the Christmas tree. I've been putting it off because it really eats into the room. It goes in that corner, if you remember. And we didn't have these chairs in here last year, but I think it's really going to eat into the space to have the tree there. So we're gonna see what we can do because the chairs are very clearly in use right now.
Canadian store that stocks this really popular garland that's always sold out in the US and way harder to find in Canada and the Merry Christmas. Um, and they sent me a little goodie box so I could show you some of the items that are gonna be in the holiday shop. So the first, the store is called Top Knock Living and they are Toronto based. So they have the beautiful Norfolk pine garland. It's super realistic, pine needles. It's got kind of like a rubbery feel rather than plasticky. And it's got this wood look base through it. I've got three on the mantle. Um, they also carry the brass Merry Christmas sign that is sold out, I think, on a lot of places now. I love it. It's um, something you could reuse every year because it, it's metal and it's got a nice little velvet ribbon. They also included this bell garland. It's got different sized bells, which would look really cute draped along there if you didn't want Merry Christmas. I guess you could do both, but it might be a little bit busy. Um, then they included this, which you could hang off of a door handle or maybe even in a reef. Super cute. And then a few things for the table. I think that these are things maybe they stock you around. So this is for place settings. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. So you put this as place settings. They're all different rustic pieces of wood. And then this cute runner. They also included, and it's a really good size. So I look forward to using some of these other items. I don't know where I'm gonna put the extra garlands, but the funny thing is, is I was actually considering ordering two more and then this showed up. So I thought that was a, a really happy surprise. Um, so I have a 15% off promo code for Top Knot Living. Um, I will link everything in the description box so that you can get the promo code and get the link to their holiday collection. I wanted to show you what we got on our Target trip yesterday. It was just super quick um, because we had something that I had to grab for work from another store. So. This is the lamp I got. It's the Studio McGee one. It's been on my list for a while, super cute. Then I also love these candle holders. I kept using them in mood boards, so decided to get them. I got this, which I thought would be a cute little sugar dish. Um, these cards are really nice. And then we picked this up as a gift for my neighbor's little boy. It was on sale for about $10, and I just thought it was super cute, and you can't get it here, so. Really happy with them. And then also the cat thing, which I will show you. I got this toy set up for the cats at Target. So number one, I saw this for them first and then I saw this match, so I had to get it. So I'm gonna set that up for them now. what just arrived on the super rainy day. It's my Black Friday order from McGee & Co. It has been a debate and a poll on Instagram whether or not I should open it or not because it was technically something I got for myself for Christmas, but Christmas is at the cottage, so I don't think I can be bothered to haul all of this up there because I know what it is. It's not like it's a surprise to me, so I think I'm just going to open it. This bowl was at the top of the package surrounded by plastic and then I had also ordered the smaller size. So I opened this box and pulled out this bowl. 
but then there was another one inside. I'm pretty positive that was a mistake on their part because I would not have done that. I need to go check my order, but kind of cool, I guess. Don't know. Maybe I can give it as a gift or something. Also interesting, look at this, the um, color difference. I prefer this. What does this one look like? Yeah, so that's interesting as well. Here is the rest of the order. So I wanted this picture easel for so long. It's just one of those items where it doesn't make any sense why I really wanted it, but I've had this on my wish list for close to a year. This is the smaller size. I think it's gonna look really nice, um, even maybe on the mantle with a little tiny piece of art. And then because I was already placing an order and paying for shipping, I thought, okay, I'll add one more thing to cart. I've always thought this was super cute. And I think on Black Friday, it was maybe $14. So that'll be really cute to style. And I'm gonna make a little note about something here. This, you can buy at other places. I think a floral sells it, but oops, these bowls are McGee & Co branded. I don't think you can get them anywhere else. And I think the same as the easel because the side of the packaging said McGee & Co. So I just wanted to tell you that because I know sometimes they carry items that you can get at other retailers, but I don't think that is the case for the easel or the bowls. That's everything that I've been up to in the last little while. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also will be posting another separate holiday home tour. So hope you'll check that out. It's nice for me also to just document what's changed since last year when we did our holiday home tour, what I've done differently for decor, but just general projects and house changes. It's a lot of fun, but wishing you a very happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate and can't wait to see you in the new year. Happy new year. And thank you so much for all of the love and support this year.